Start to see that big change in weather, and boy, it was colder and it was wetter today, Joseph, just it, like you said. It was, yeah. We had a quarter of an inch of rain here in Portland. Some of the outskirts, not as much, but it definitely changed, and that goes for the mountains as well. It was really snowy up on the mountains. Hey, let's take a look at what we have going on this evening. We do have the cloud coverage here in areas of Vancouver. We're not finished with the rain just yet, but it has paused momentarily around the area as a lot of that moisture is kind of hugging the cascades at this hour. You can see the low clouds in Vancouver out of our Riverview Community Bank camera. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. Temperatures in the upper 40s. The wind is calm out there at this hour. It might pick up a little bit. Stoller Winery at 47 degrees. You can see the low clouds there, but underneath some of the clouds, you can see some light getting close to that sunset. We had a wonderful view coming out of McMinnville earlier when we were looking over the west, uh, over the coast range out of the west. And uh, you can definitely see uh, some light there. So not nearly as overcast to the south. I'll take you up to Highway 26 at Government Camp where there's been cars in and out. The roads are wet and there's snow on the side. We've had about an inch of snowfall. There's going to be more late tonight into Wednesday morning. Rain totals for today, as I mentioned, Portland about a quarter of an inch. Not as much for Vancouver or Troutdale, but those are some of the more, more notable areas today. But Hillsborough, McMinnville, Salem, Corvallis, no measurable rain. Uh, we're still waiting on some of that moisture and, and a cold front to move on in that will help engage uh, some more showers. But most of the rain now into areas of the foothills, as I mentioned, and even down to the south as we look at the radar. We'll stretch it out a little bit. Plenty of moisture to the east. That cold front continues to find a way to the south. We're picking up moisture with that northwest flow off the Pacific. So the combination of the two is allowing for some of those rain showers. That high pressure that was kind of anchored out here earlier through the weekend and on Monday is now kind of again pressed down to the south and that's allowing for us to see some disturbances here. All right, the weather pattern is going to show that trough moving on through as we go through the rest of today and for part of our Wednesday. Another ridge forms on Thursday and Friday that should leave us with some sunshine and some dry time, but then we kind of get wavy and active from Saturday into next week. With that cold air from the trough that's moving in tomorrow, a little chilly at 36 degrees. Notice the average low. This is the low temperature, so what you're waking up to is right around 39 degrees down in Portland. But by Thursday, it's going to drop to about 29 degrees. It's going to be pretty cold out there as we go into Thursday morning. We'll see some widespread frost out there. So the chance of seeing temperatures dipping below 30 degrees in March now is about 5%. So it doesn't happen very often, and we barely get to about 25 degrees. Although the record on Thursday morning for the record for the low is actually 22. So it does happen, but we usually don't dip below freezing all that often. All right, here's the future cast. Snowfall as we go through the rest of today through the Cascades, even some of the lower elevations for Central Oregon, you may pick up uh, some very light snowfall. We see some spotty showers there from Salem down to Eugene. Then we all start to dry on up as we head into Wednesday night. A few dry days before we get to the weekend. Saturday at 55, Sunday at 53 there for the weekend. Uh, we do spring forward and then we're watching on Monday. Monday we may see another atmospheric river. So take advantage of these dry days both Thursday and Friday. Yeah, Friday doesn't look too bad. Joseph, thank you. Yeah. The price tag.